Alrighty, here we go. Doc Rivers is officially now. The new head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's get into it. Now, a lot of y'all ain't going to like what I got to say, but I'm going to keep it 100 from my perspective on this coaching situation. We got not one, not two, but three head coaches on the Bucks payroll now. That would be Mike Buddenhoser, Adrian Griffin, and now Doc Rivers. That's not good for a coach. We need deep in this shit with Bucks head coaches. Now, when you hire a head coach, this is not shit no, well, no, it kind of is, but I'm just going to keep it 100. Doc Rivers is a coach that lost how many game sevens in the playoffs? And this is who you go and hire. I'm not trying to knock it. Doc Rivers lost a 3-1 playoff lead. You fired Bud for not making good rotations, bad decision making, and for a lot of stuff the fans and, and people who just got frustrated with. Then you hire Adrian Griffin, who's a rookie coach, who actually has us in good standing at 30 wins in the season. Only 13 losses. Second best record for a head coach to get fired at in the regular season. In NBA history. <laughs> so, we give Mike Buttonhoser years to get his shit together. We even had people calling for Mike Buttonhoser's job when he won the championship because they didn't like the way he was coaching in rotating players. We tell you telling me you gonna get this man only half a season, and then hire Doc Rivers, who has a name. Yeah, he's got an NBA championship. He's got one with the personnel of a Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett as your big three. So we do know at least Doc can coach big name players like Giannis, Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton, who just became the third leading scorer in NBA history. Not NBA history, but uh, Milwaukee Bucks history uh, just the other day. So shout out to Chris Middleton. We're going to get into that too. We're going to get into some trade talks. But listen, my thing is this. Check this out. How could you be happy about the Milwaukee Bucks hiring Doc Rivers after firing somebody who he was an advisor to at that, Adrian Griffin? He was Adrian Griffin's advisor. That looks kind of weird, don't it? If you was advising Adrian Griffin and the players wasn't happy with it, what are you going to do now that you're the head coach? Let me know that. I just want to know. What's going to be different? Are they going to listen to you more than y'all listen to Adrian Griffin? Did y'all not respect him because he was a rookie coach? This man was an assistant for 15 years. 16 years. Whatever he was. He started his coaching career in Milwaukee. So... My thing is this. All the all the, all the research I've done, the different scenarios of this happening to a rookie head coach or a coach who was coaching only half a season and then get fired. We can compare it to the Clippers or in Tyrone Lou 
blah, blah, blah. I don't really give a shit about that because that's a whole different uh, thing. Adrian Griffin was totally new to the Bucks. And uh, let's not talk about these unpleasable Bucks fans. I'm in a Bucks group and I hear a lot of unpleasable shit from these Bucks fans. They hear somebody say, oh, they should have hired Nick Nurse instead of him. They should have hired this person. They should have hired that person. No, they shouldn't have. Kenny Atkins can stay where the fuck he at. Nick Nurse can stay where the fuck he at. In my opinion. Because last time I checked, the Milwaukee Bucks is ahead of the Philadelphia 76ers. And they coached by who? Nick Nurse. So that means Adrian Griffin was doing something right. Yeah, the defense went from top-notch, top-five defense to 22nd. But remember, they was 27th at first. So that means something was improving somewhere. Statistically, if you're going to bring up stats... At least get this man a chance to prove to the world that he is worthy of being a head coach of a championship franchise. Oh, yeah, he'll do a good job with some new players or a young team. Yeah, he will. But that don't mean he wouldn't have done a great job with a championship franchise like the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm just saying. It's not like he was doing a shitty job. If you listen to half of these critics, you would think the Bucks was playing like the Pistons or the San Antonio Spurs. And they are the shittiest two teams in the league. And we're talking about the second best record in the league compared to some shitty ass. T- Come on, man. Let's stop. And I'm not saying this is because Doc Rivers is a bad coach or nothing. But one y'all just saying this shit about Budden Hoser and the shit he did prior and post championship teams getting put out in the first round, put out in the second round. The Bucks should have had three championships by now. They got one. That was in 2021. It's 2024. And you got three fire head coaches. <laughs> Come on, man. Is Doc Rivers going to make Dave Lither a better defensive player? No, he not. And the reason why? There's other places they need to go, other directions as far as personnel. Let's get into that. Well, first and foremost, let me finish my uh, points. We're not going to get into that. Let's talk about the real reason why he got fired. Let's talk about uh, Dame Lillard wasn't happy. Giannis wasn't happy. Bobby Portis wasn't happy. And a couple other young players wasn't happy. Wasn't using those guys correctly outside of uh, maybe Andre Jackson. Um, put Beasley in the wrong position to defend top defenders when he's not that great defensively. The way Adrian Griffin talked about Beasley, you would have thought he was Gary Payton. There was some favoritism. I will say that. Griffin had favoritism on the roster. And uh, that would then make a lot of players happy. A lot of players feel like they should be getting some minutes, more minutes and more playing time instead of sitting. People making jokes talking about the Gnosis was the reason, and that that's not true. <laughs> he wasn't trying to uh, trade the Gnosis, Giannis' brother, because he was uh, taking up a roster spot. But speaking of trades, they are trying to get a defender in a guard by the name of Deontay Murray. They have been very aggressive and very persistent in trying to get him over there, which means there's going to be some big name players from the Bucks that's going to have to disappear if that happens. Now, we don't know if it's going to be Portis and Pat Connaughton or just Middleton and whatever, but it's got to make sense if they're going to make that trade. But they are going to make some trades, whether it's Murray or not. It's going to be some trades. Doc Rivers, from what I'm hearing, has already made some suggestions to the players in the meeting that he would like to have. He's already 
the ink is dry on the paper. Doc Rivers is the coach. He is, in fact, the actual coach now. So we know Doc is going to be our coach. So those trades, we don't know who they may be, but I think it'll be uh, interesting to see what the Bucks do further. But this is going to be bad. If Doc Rivers fails to get the Bucks to the championship and win the championship, are they going to fire him too? And what does that mean for John Hoist? This was a bold, bold move. I would have at least waited till the season was over with. Because if you bring in Doc Rivers and the Bucks still get beat by like maybe the Pacers in the playoffs or the Heat or whoever they play first, second round, that's not exceptional. Nothing less than a championship now, if you're going to do some shit like that, will be acceptable. Is all I'm saying. Giannis vouched for Adrian Griffin. Bobby Port is called a meeting. Saying, I don't like this system. We're going to have to step our game up, make some changes. Damian Litter said he's been struggling in Adrian Griffin's system. Is he going to struggle in Doc Rivers too? So something's going to have to give now or either next season. Do you trade Damian Lillard after this year? Because I know goddamn well they ain't trading Giannis. That's just something we need to think about. The Beyond the uh, All-Star trades that they're going to do, or before the All-Star uh, break they're going to do. Because I don't know where the Bucks go from here if they don't win the championship with Doc Rivers. And why would you fire him, you know, if you got all these motherfucking uh, pay salaries already on debt for two other coaches? <laughs> would you hire another coach? So you pretty much stuck with Doc and see what he can do. Does Doc deserve to have a chance to win another championship with another franchise? Absolutely, if he can prove that he has the right personnel in place to do it. You damn, if you think Doc Rivers coming in this situation blonde enough after studying the roster, talking to Griffin, talking to the coaching staff all these months, and think that he don't need to make some changes, then you silly as hell. So we need to see where they at with that. And then I'd be like, okay, now there is no excuse. Because it's really, at the end of the day, no matter what system you put in place, it's up to the players to make it happen, to, to step up defensively. The offense is great. We already know the offense is great. We got two of the best 75 players in NBA history on this team. So we got a great bench, great scoring bench. We got some decent defenders. But who can Doc make better on this team beyond that? Bochamp. Jackson, Livingston, Green, a lot of young players who needs to be developed. Is Doc the man for the job for that as well? Because we got to look past the right now and also into the future. Is Doc Rivers that dude? I don't know. He's got a great history. Former Marquette player. You know, a great NBA veteran. Great years with the Atlanta Hawks. Watched him play with the Hawks growing up. Watch him, you know, do his thing with other teams. But can he be the man with one championship back in 2008 with a star stutter team? Uh, we'll see. And you Bucks fans is crazy, man. Y'all got to be unpleasable. A lot of y'all just miss Bud and happy. The only reason why y'all happy because Doc Rivers is the coach. And hate on Adrian Griffiths because y'all love Bud. Y'all want some Bud butt or whatever the case may be. And y'all just want to have a different coach because y'all want to be right. Y'all ain't right. Because at the end of the day, Bud and Hoser did not do his job as a championship coach. So that's what happens. You get fucking fired. Oh, we should have got Darvin Ham. Look what Darvin Ham going through in the, with the Lakers. They want his ass. I mean, look at, look at all this stuff. Let's line it up. Steve Kerr, he's struggling right now. He got multiple championships. 
Did they quit on him? Fuck no. But I just want to know y'all thoughts. All you bud buddies, don't even come in the comments. But let me know y'all thoughts about this. Peace.